if you guys just want a regular job and you want to work from home, I do recommend it. I don't think that you're going to make three to 500 per day like Wesley says, but I think you could definitely start making that type of money maybe after a few months of getting results for people that you're providing for free. What is up guys, this is Kevin Thompson coming back here with another video for you guys. As you guys can see, I'm in another surrounding. I actually came down to South Carolina and this is where I'm gonna be going forward probably after November of this year. I'm gonna be moving down here. And this is a brand new house that my mom just had built. I'm gonna be living here with her, her husband, my stepdad, and my other three siblings. Also, I haven't done my hair in a while. It is like the least of my worries right now. The reason I'm down here is because my mom came up to Buffalo because my grandpa passed away uh, last week a few days ago. So we're gonna be going back in a few days for the funeral. So I'm just here right now for a few days. So I thought I'd make this video. Also, I'm gonna try to keep my voice down a little bit just because my little brother is sleeping right now. But let's get into the video. Right now, I'm gonna tell you guys a way that you can make money, which is kind of similar to drop servicing. It pretty much is drop servicing. And Wesley made this video, but I'm gonna remake it and tell you guys the truth and exactly how you're gonna make money and kind of debunk the things that he makes seems pretty easy in his video. Really, the first step what you guys wanna do is you wanna get a PayPal, a Cash App, or Venmo. I recommend getting a PayPal just because it's more professional. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be going to different companies locally around your area and you're gonna be doing Facebook ads for them. When I first started off in e-commerce, I made a business, it was called Metric Growth. And basically I was trying to call a bunch of different companies. I started out with doing real estate and then I moved on to doing cars just because I knew a little bit more about cars. Really, all you're doing is calling them having them pay you to run ads and then you're going to hire someone on fiverr.com which i've mentioned a lot on this channel hire someone on fiverr to actually do the ads for you so it's really low startup costs you're only going to be paying someone to run the ads for you the ad budget is going to come from whoever you're running the ads for whoever your client is my recommendation is to go on google maps and just kind of type in any type of different local businesses you guys can do dentists you can do restaurants you can do real estate agents you can do car lots like i did and you could pretty much work off commission the guy that i learned drop servicing from i'm in godsey he recommended not to work off commissions but Personally, I think that if you're just starting out, that might be a good way to start just because you're only gonna be getting paid on the results. So for instance, if you're doing it for a car lot, they'll pay you on every customer that you convert or they'll pay you on the leads. I'd rather get paid on the leads. So basically you're running Facebook ads, anyone who is interacting with your ad and wants to buy, you're gonna contact them on Facebook and you're gonna set up them an appointment. And basically, the appointment you set up with them, they're gonna either be a buyer or they're not gonna be a buyer. But hopefully, with someone who is interacting with your ads like that and who is setting an appointment, you're gonna have more of a chance to get an actually qualified buyer. Personally, if you're just starting out and you're looking for quick money, I would recommend doing it for free, which sounds kind of counteractive, but then you can actually start you know, getting testimonials for your services and you will have to pay that person who was running the ads just because you can't get away with not paying them. So you're gonna have to pay them, but whoever your client is, they're gonna be paying for the ad budget. So really, you're only gonna be out like $200. And then once you start getting results, that client is gonna start wanting to work with you more. So then once you get that testimonial, then you know, you can go to the next person and say, hey, I did this. For this company, I could also do the same for you. I would recommend building a business around one niche. You can do different places and you know different types of companies. Like you know, you can do restaurants and car lots. There's really no problem with that. But the way Wesley made it seem was like you can get started today and you can make three hundred to five hundred dollars a day, which is really not true. Also. 
the companies who are going to hire you, they're probably going to look online and look into you. And then I'll tell you guys the cons in a little bit. Once you start looking these places up on Google Maps, you're going to want to start calling them like ASAP. So you're going to call a lot, a lot of people. When I first started, I was calling real estate agents and I was really just calling them everywhere. I didn't do locally and you don't have to do locally, especially if you're not actually going into the business and asking for their business. So me, I was calling everywhere. I called in New York City a lot because it's just, you know, highly, highly dense there and they have higher prices for things. The first week that I was doing it, I was calling like, I would say 50 to 100 people a day. And for some people, that's not a lot. I know some people who call like hundreds, like 500 people per day. And it's really about the time that you want to invest. See now, if I would have stuck with drop servicing this whole time, I probably would have already been making five figures a month. But my thing is, I wasn't passionate about that. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not good at anything that I'm not passionate about. So me calling these places and basically like begging them to let me take on their ads, especially sounding black and sounding young, you know, people aren't really going to trust me all like that. So I don't know who you guys are. You guys might be an older white male, so you'll have an advantage. But, you know, I don't want to say this as, you know, me being prejudiced or anything, but people will definitely discriminate against a young black man who they find on the other line. So they'll probably ask how long I've been doing it. And if I don't have that much experience, they're not going to want to trust me with their business. That's why I told you guys to work based on results first. Like don't charge them anything. But even then, some people will still deny your service. So you really are going to have to call a lot of places. You guys know that I have a personal brand. And when I was doing drop servicing, I couldn't really do anything with my personal brand. Like I couldn't tell the person that I wrote books. I couldn't tell them how smart I was. I couldn't tell them that I have two YouTube channels. Like they really didn't care. They only care about what I could do for them and what I could do for them. There's no passion for me in that. If you guys just want a regular job and you want to work from home, I do recommend it. I don't think that you're going to make three to 500 per day, like Wesley says, but I think you could definitely start making that type of money, maybe after a few months of getting results for people that you're providing for free. So I'm gonna tell you guys a couple like warning things so that you don't just like spend your time and kind of waste your time getting into this. The first thing I would tell you guys is that you need to spend a lot of time on the phone calling these people it's going to take you hours even to call 100 people it's going to take you some hours and even if like half 75 percent of those people don't answer that's still time they have to take to actually type the number and make that call and that stuff adds up so if you guys are willing to spend the time and get nothing out of it just like i'm doing these youtube videos i spend hours making the videos editing the videos and my channel is not even monetized yet that's fine with me. I'm totally okay with working for free because I know that one day it's going to mean something. I'm working towards something. But if you guys are looking for financial security, then I would say any type of online business is not for you. But if you guys are okay with taking that loss at first and willing to stay consistent to build yourself up because you can start building yourself up, but it's going to be a huge loss and a huge waste of your time if you're not being consistent with it and if you build 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 and then end up giving up and you stop that consistency you're never going to see the end result you guys have to be okay with calling people you guys have to be okay with getting rejected on the phone people hanging up on you you have to be okay with people like wasting your time saying maybe a strategy that I just learned that I wish I had learned when I was doing drop servicing was Dan Locke basically tells people to give him a yes or a no. So if you're on the phone with someone and they're saying maybe, da, 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 you should at first, like when you first get on the phone, establish rules that say, hey, at the end of this call, you're going to give me a yes or you're going to give me a no. Okay, because you saying maybe is going to waste my time. Either you want to do business with me or you don't. It's different kind of in a coronavirus, but I would try to limit the people that say that maybe later. You know, I would try to limit that because that's you wasting space in your CRM. That's you wasting your time trying to check in, call them back, you know, reconnect and see if they're ready to buy. Most of the times if people don't buy 
on the spot they're not gonna buy that's just something that i've learned but try to get that yes or no like right off the bat because it's going to save you a lot of time in the end another thing you're going to want to do is establish an online presence and i spent a lot of my time and money trying to build a website trying to get you know a professional email and meanwhile no one came to me like i had no customers my job servicing teacher he actually started his company with only an email address which is still possible but nowadays companies aren't going to be hesitant because it's only going to take them a couple seconds to go online try to look you up and if you have nothing online then they're going to be like what's going on like you know they're going to kind of feel like it's a scam or it's a scheme that you're running on them especially if you sound young the best way to do it is to you know have a professional website and even if you do sound young then you having a website and you having that professional look online will make it just a little bit better. I do recommend having a website before you start because you can have a client that's willing to pay you, but if you don't have a website, they're not gonna wanna do business with you. So a lot of the reasons why you know I didn't like what's his video that he made about this was because he didn't say anything. Like he basically just said, go on Google Maps and call the people and get their business. It's not that easy. You're not gonna get business within the first five people you call, the first 10 people, maybe not even the first 20 people that you call. It's gonna require a lot more time. You're not gonna make 300 to $500 a day. And especially if you're working for them for free, like he's he's telling you that you can make three to $500 a day, but then he tells you to work for free. So I'm being honest with you guys, you're not gonna make money within that first month. Like probably, it's, it's very unlikely, especially if you don't have a website, it's very unlikely that you're gonna make money in that first month, and depending on how hard you work at it. Now, if you're working every day, all day, then you might have a better chance of maybe getting a little bit of business in that first month, but if you guys have a job and you're only getting to work like after hours, then it's gonna be really hard for you. It's gonna be really hard for you to even call those people to get their business because by the time you get off work, their business hours is gonna be over. I would say that this type of business model, this type of getting money is for certain types of people. And if you're not into sales, persuading people, talking on the phone, uh, doing a lot of work and taking a lot of L's before even just getting paid a couple hundred dollars, even a thousand dollar a month retainer then i would recommend that this business model is not for you and i hope that i just saved you some time with this video i hope you liked the video i hope it gave you a little bit of value stay up guys and i'll see you in the next one peace